Hello, this is Stacy Farrell with Keith Athens Clark County Beautiful. I'm here today to share some information on litter, illegal dumping, and water in Athens, Georgia. If you are not familiar with our organization, we are a 501c3 nonprofit located in the Athens Clark County Solid Waste Department. We are also one of more than 600 national affiliates that make up the Keep America Beautiful network. We administer 11 litter prevention programs, seven beautification programs, and four waste reduction programs. In fiscal year 2020 alone, our volunteers completed 271 roadway cleanups, collecting 890 bags of litter and 204 bags of recycling from Athens area roadways. Now for the purpose of this presentation, we wanna share some recent information about the state of litter in Athens. Because we know that litter flows, right? We know that it flows directly from our streets and storm drains into our local waterways. So in May, 2018, and again in July, 2020, we presented data to mayor and commission on the state of litter in our community. And what we found is that we were spending over $860,000 a year just to pick up litter. Now this information comes from three primary government departments and the Georgia Department of Transportation. But this number does not include the six other secondary departments in the government that have an impact on litter and illegal dumping. So we know that this number right here, this $863,000 is low, it's not accurate. We actually spend much more money just picking up litter. So during these work sessions, we provided some suggestions on how we might break the cycle of litter. A few of the things that we did were to find funding for a new litter abatement specialist position. That position now administers all the litter prevention and abatement programs for Keep Athens Clark County Beautiful. We were also able to pull together the litter abatement steering committee which is a team of 15 collaborating organizations representing nine different county agencies who have all pledged to devote time and resources towards strategically addressing Athens litter related problems. We are a committee of folks looking to be proactive instead of reactive. We completed a community litter survey and looked at some new neighborhoods to do neighborhood cleanups. So the community litter survey is very interesting because it's the first that we've ever done in our community. Over a thousand people responded and what we learned is that 85% of those folks believe that littering is a significant problem in our community. 75% agree that we should put more resources towards addressing the litter problems and 77 were unfamiliar with the existing litter laws. Many of the respondents indicated that ACC should enforce existing litter laws more strongly. So another new initiative was our neighborhood cleanup of the Triangle Plaza. This was a free event over a four hour period. And during this time, we collected over 2.3 tons of mixed waste and 7.7 .7 tons of tires that were then recycled. This was a collaboration with the police department the Recycling Division, Keep Athens Clark County Beautiful, and the Solid Waste Department. We also did a household trash bag audit to see if we could find some trends uh, in household trash bags that were being deposited. We did this over a week-long period and collected 13 bags from eight different locations. We were only able to find one address in those bags. We also completed some litter education workshops with 59 officers. Um, but the best part of this was really receiving the input from the police department on some better ideas on how to address litter related issues in Athens. We hope to continue this collaboration so that we can work together to curb some of the littering behaviors that we have in our community. And then we also spent time um, doing some new community outreach so that we can get more neighborhoods involved, some of our youth and some of our lower income neighborhoods to help be a part of the solution to keeping their neighborhoods clean and safe. Our litter abatement specialist 
oversees the cigarette litter receptacle program. We now have 75 installed in downtown Athens, but he also was able to start a new program collecting those cigarette butts from those receptacles and then sending them to TerraCycle to be recycled. We were able to install a new UPC-based inventory system so that we could monitor and regularly maintain the receptacles. And then of course, we found some funding to increase the number of receptacles that we have in downtown Athens. And we're also working with the athens Clark County GIS Department to centralize a data collection so that other athens Clark County departments can work together to pinpoint locations of some of these illegal dump sites. We're really hoping that if we can get this going, we're able, this will help us guide some um, of our policy changes and might identify some solutions to some of these illegal dumping issues. And then our Adopt a Highway group um, completed many, many cleanups, 190 cleanups in 2019. We also have a down and dirty program where volunteers clean some of our dirtiest roads. And then we spend a great deal of time doing presentations to school groups and community groups. Hopefully you've seen some of Key Athens Clark County Beautiful's litter campaigns. The Seriously Y'all Still Litter campaign has always been very popular. The latest campaign has been our Trash or Size campaign during the COVID-19 pandemic. Many folks were spending more time outdoors, so we tried to inspire them to help keep our community clean um, by picking up litter while they were exercising and by doing that in a safe way. So here we get to Rivers Alive, and Rivers Alive is one of our most popular volunteer events in the Athens community. Um, this is Georgia's annual fall volunteer waterway event. Um, it is a program of the Georgia Environmental Protection Division um, and it has the mission for the state is to create awareness and involvement in the preservation of Georgia's water resources. We are so lucky because although Keep Athens Clark County Beautiful helps to organize small waterway cleanups throughout the year, Rivers Alive in Athens is an annual collaboration of about 12 local organizations. And we come together to organize, which is a very large scale event, um, anywhere from 15 to 25 sites in one day. Um, we have hundreds and hundreds of volunteers. Um, we could not do this if we didn't join forces and pull our resources together. So we're so lucky to have this collaboration here in Athens. Um, as you can see, it's a very family friendly event. Um, we do put boats in the water and then have folks along the banks collecting litter as well. It's always kind of fun to look at uh, the year's impact. So here's, here is um, some Rivers Alive impact since 2006. You can see that we have collected over 2,030 tires um, that we, these volunteers have collected over 106,000 pounds of trash and that we have had about 400, well, excuse me, 4,231 um, volunteers participate. So again, it's a very, very popular event and this makes a huge impact on the amount of litter and trash that we see in our waterways. And even though this has been an unusual year, we are still moving forward with Rivers Alive during COVID-19. We are going to move forward with um, the theme of standing apart while flowing together. The event this year is on Saturday, October 24th from 9 to 11 a.m. Um, we have reduced the sizes for the sites, but we've also allowed for a new choose your own adventure throughout the month of October so that families or small groups of folks can safely participate in Rivers Alive um, and report their numbers for our community. So here you see, if you're interested, you can visit www.accgov.com backslash Rivers Alive. 
we do still have many challenges. As you can see, this is a very, this is a recent um, illegal dump site. Um, and so we're trying to work on some of these illegal dump site issues. Um, we are having some challenges with homeless camps in our community and solid waste and keep Athens Clark County beautiful are trying to work with these private landowners to provide tools and discounted collection so that um, this litter does not find its way into our waterways. And we're going to continue to partner with these um, property owners and groups um, to see how we might be able to make some changes for some of these homeless camps. So stay tuned as folks are still working on this issue to see how we might better address it. And then another challenge we have is that at this time we do not have a, a local Georgia Department of Transportation inmate contract. And that contract um, is normally for regular litter cleanups on state highways. Well, at this time we don't have a contract. And so unfortunately, uh, this may result in the long-term presence of roadside litter on Loop 10. Um, and so we are going to continue to look at ways that we might be able to work with GDOT um, and to help curb some of the litter that we're seeing on these state routes. But this is one of the challenges for our community right now. So moving forward, we are looking ahead at spring and summer of 2021. We have some events planned, uh, National Secure Your Load Day, because we know that unsecured loads like that um, in the picture there um, are considered one of the seven sources of litter. We're going to continue to work with our attorney's office to develop a court-appointed litter education class for litter law offenders. And we're hoping to continue to investigate some of the costs of a surveillance program in our community so that we might be able to curb some of the behavior at these illegal dump sites. And at this point, we'll take any questions. Really, we wanted to just give you a, an overview of some of the litter and illegal dumping that's happening in our community. And we are trying so hard to curb that behavior so that we don't find this litter in our local waterways. So thank you. And if you're interested in participating in Rivers Alive, please do visit the website at Athens-Clarke County Rivers Alive.